continuing the news. In a primetime news follow-up, one of the suspects in yesterday's armed robbery at a JN Bank money shop in White House, Westmoreland, is in police custody. According to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the man was held in the parish today with a 9mm pistol. Meanwhile, a taxi operator, whose car was stolen by the robbers, is speaking out this evening. His car has since been recovered as investigations into the daring daylight robbery continue. After making off with over $3 million from the JN Bank's money shop in White House, Westmoreland, the robbers continued their rampage. No getaway car, the men held up a taxi operator meters away from the crime scene. He told TBJ News he was loading his vehicle for a trip to Savlamar. He already had one passenger. I stand up by my car side to the passenger side. Passenger side. Ah. Uh, I see a man come to me with a something true, like a towel or a shirt true over my hand. But what happened, he juked me on my side. So when I feel it's tough, something juked me on my side. I me frightened because I checked that one of my taxi men played me, but he juked me hard. So when he juked me hard, I spin around. And my response was, my you tell that you juked me hard, you know? You understand? So by the time I said that, I was going just lift up his shirt half a gun. And I said, this is a robbery and a few care that we want it. While this was unfolding, no one appeared to be aware of what was taking place. I start step back because a man behind me said, Jew, so I step back to see if I can go back to him to get more people's attention. So when I step to him, the other man, the second man, when I step back, the second man come and juke me in my neck. That, that was the second man, hard in my neck, very hard with the gun. And when he juke me in my neck, he used a bad word and said, I the man said he relented. His passenger exited the vehicle, then in came the robbers who sped off. He initially lost all hope of finding the vehicle when he went to the police station. When we rushed to the station, the jeep was not there. So I jumped in our taxi man car. I tell him what happened up there. I rushed out to the station. I jumped in our taxi man car and say, rush with me. We are going to chase me here, gunman just take you. And he said, No, you know, I run down no gunman because I know how gun. We run a different taxi man here and he said, No. So then give it to my brother. Despite not having the service vehicle at the time, the police, we were told, called for backup. The taxi operator became hopeful once again. The response of the police, we have to give them a thumbs up. And the reason why we have to give them a thumbs up, the, the, the Bluefields police go up the hill. When they realize that he, he, he reached at a, he can reach at New Works, the Bluefields police go up the hill. Then now the, the Dalistan police come. So when they realize say, the police have the area them covered, that's when they abandon the car and leave it. The car was abandoned on someone's property and the men made off with the cash. TVJ News understands that Tuesday's robbery was a tipping point as White House has been plagued by a spate of robberies. A whole lot of robbery and a whole lot of gunmen in the area, especially Pony Hill. A whole lot of new faces come in. Meanwhile, in addition to the cash, the robbers also made off with the licensed firearm of the JN security guard.